What's good, everybody? It's Don. Today I've got Don Lee's in the jungle. It's patch 812. She got a buff. Let's see how it goes. Who knows? All right. Uh, so, yeah, Elise is one of the premier junglers whenever she's strong. Uh, whenever the meta fits her, she takes over. She's really strong. But over the past few patches, it's not really been her meta. Hasn't been great. Um, especially now that level two gankers are all the rage and you know heavy duelists uh in the jungle that's not really her thing she really needs level three to gank right you really need all your abilities to have a good gank on her so that's what we're gonna do um she is a burst ap uh jungler uh, i want to say assassin but that doesn't quite fit her she can get in and out of fights she does have a lot of burst potential she's like a burst mage but um really she falls off, so I'm, I'm trying to talk about her, right? She falls off late game. Um, she's more of an early mid-pressure type of jungler, but she does have some late game presence. Your cocoon is always viable if you hit it. She does still have bursts, so, you know, there are some things. Um, so the way they buffed her is they gave her some extra move speed to kind of help with the fact that they took it out of the item, right? They took it out of Runic Echoes. So now it's in her base move speed instead. Um, they also gave her a little bit of damage on her on her W, her Volatile Spiderling. So that's pretty good as well, right? We're not going to fight over the Scuttler. We don't really care too much about that. Uh, we, we'll try and go for this one. It's a Gragas, so we could fight him, but, eh, you know. Eh, it is what it is. So... Um, we really want to get level 3 and start to gank lanes. So Elise, she's a champion who has two forms. She's got her spider form, which you see now, and then she's got her human form. And so with that, she has six abilities, not, incl not including her ultimate, which is the form change, right? So when you're in, spi when you're in human form, rather, this is how you're going to be walking around the map trying to set up your ganks. Your Q uh, is this point-and-click damage ability doesn't really do too much it's not a big part of your kit just a little extra damage right um and then your w sends out that spiderling it's a nice form of poke it sets up your main abilities right so it's a lot of damage in that as well so uh there's that and then your main thing what elise is known for is her cocoon it's a skill shot it's a long range skill shot that uh i think it stuns could be a stun i'll have to check the tooltip on that and it kind of lets you follow up your ganks, and that's where, like, all of your your gank presence comes from. Um, oh, no. They got cheesed. Get cheesed. Uh, did he start up here? Oh, no. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we'll just do this then. So with, you know, she's a burst mage, and then in her spider form, your Q is an execute. That's a lot of your power, right? And you usually want to start off in fights with it because it has a low cooldown. So that's really quite nice to have on two rotations. We're trying to find Gragas here. I'm kind of surprised he hasn't shown anywhere yet. Oh, he died. Did he die? He got executed in the jungle. Interesting. So we're going to walk around here. We're going to try and hit our skill shot, right? Boom. We hit it there. And then we use our Q. Ooh. I didn't hit my W. Dang. So your W is an auto attack reset. That's how you want to be using it. Um, you use your W, you auto into your W to get kind of that little extra burst off, right? So that's kind of, you want to do your full combo. You throw your W out first if you know where you're going um, and your Q. Uh, but you usually start off ganks with your E. So you start off with E, go into your WQ, and then you spider, you change your form into spider form. And then from there, oh, can I get this? Got it. Let's go. From there, you kind of just auto attack it out, and you want to try and get two rotations of your Q off. That's kind of the big thing. So um, we're going to farm it out for now. We want to try and make plays. We want to try and get some stuff done. The other thing about Elise is when you change into Spider, you get these little Spiderlings, right? So she's got a really healthy clear because her Spiderlings take some damage and allows you to kind of, you know, just step back and heal a little bit. It's kind of nice. And then your E in Spider form is Repel. Uh, and you haven't seen me use it yet. You'll use it like if if this gank happened a little bit farther down the lane, I would use my E, and it's called Repel, and it shoots you up into the air, and then you click on an enemy champion, and you can drop down on top of them. Oh, he's backing, so this isn't really a gank opportunity here. 
We want to try and come up here, I guess. You can also use it to engage your ganks as well, but it is a little bit more difficult to do it that way. Oh, I'm coming here. Oh, there's three there. He's dead. Sorry, brother. Oh, is he going to get out? Oh, he got out. What a beast. What a beast. So we can switch into our spider form now and repel. And uh, if he was in that bush, he would have died. So you can kind of do stuff like that. I don't quite have the damage yet, right? I'm just on one item. Um, but if I had the damage, yeah, we don't want this. I'm just putting some damage there, but I'm definitely not fighting this ever. <laughs> definitely not going to fight a 2v1. So we're just going to clear this out. That's interesting. I did not expect that play to happen. I wish I had my E up. I would have been able to uh, turn that stunner under tower. But they're a five-man, so they're pretty coordinated. We're playing some flex queue with some stream followers, so it's pretty fun. It's going to be a fun game. Um, and this is my first Elise in a while, in a long while. So sorry if things are a bit off, Elise mains, all right? I'm sorry ahead of time. Okay. <clears throat> so we're probably going to look to stay... Ooh, he got the ult. He got his ult. Got that level six and went in. He can dive this too, because he's gonna have his Oh, he was gonna have the revive. I'm just gonna run straight top side here. And he might try and uh, do something silly. Now that his ults or that his revive's down, I don't imagine he'll be doing too much, but we'll see. We'll see. He might try and do something stupid. Ooh, I wonder if I was spotted there. I'm going to go around, though. Uh, I want him to try and farm this out. No, 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 no. Just farm this out. That's fine. We don't want to risk it too much, right? He's six and all, but we don't, wanna f we don't want him to miss all that farm just to get a gank off. So we'll see what Aatrox does here. We want to max our Q, and then we're going to max our W into our E. So we got to see what Aatrox does here. Uh, we can try and make something happen. Yep, as soon as he gets the grab... Boom, get the cocoon to save him, and then get the dunk. So that was a situation where I actually didn't need my cocoon to get the kill, but I got the cocoon in order to stop him, to CC him from actually doing anything to the Darius there. I waited probably a little bit longer than I should have for that gank to happen, but we kind of knew what was going to happen, so eh, it's kind of worth I wish Graves was... Not as healthy. We might be able to do something here. Let's see. If I can land my cocoon, maybe. Yeah. I would need to smite him and then get the cocoon off, but he's always going to dodge that because he's got his E in song range. I would have had to have repelled onto him, but I'm not sure that I have the damage to actually kill him. Um, Elise does have high base damages, right? But... The thing is, is, you know, Graves is going to be able to eat away. We don't want to get into a kiting match, and he stalls out, and his team comes. So it's just better to be safe there. Okay. Obviously, you're not really worried about using your cocoon while taking jungle camps. You pretty much want to be in your spider form for most of it anyway, because... Oh, use that there. See if we see anybody. Uh, because that's where most of your damage comes from. The attack speed, your spiderlings, your Q, all of that is about... Um, all of that's where your, most of your damage comes from when you're clearing camps anyway. So so that's the combo again, right? We cocoon into all of our stuff. And then we switch over to spider form. I'm coming up here. Oh. Uh, oh, the flash. Interesting. Okay, well, he knows we're here. Uh, we can absolutely dive here. Gragas is bot side. He has to leave this. We can reset turret aggro with our E as well, right? So there we go. I start the dive out with my uh, damage. I take turret aggro, and then immediately after that, we repel. Um, well, not immediately, right? You can hold it for a while. I shouldn't say immediately, but... Uh, you. You basically want to E as soon as the kill is guaranteed uh, to trade turret aggro or at the very least. Nice hold. We got first turret. So he's going to die, but that's worth. Ow. Uh, his whole team's going to be coming up here as well, so we got to be careful. We got to be careful. His whole team's probably going to be here. 
They're not actually. They're not rotating. I want to give this to Darius if I can. Nice, I can. Uh, this feels bad. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Bye bye. Yeah, the team, their team was collapsing. Aatrox is there. Gragas is there. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out. Okay, so it's five to four. We have two assists. So you see, we're affecting the lanes now, right? We're gonna make our our earliest point in the game is about to come right now. We got our or our earliest power spike in the game is coming right now. We got our um, runic echoes. I, I keep calling that Rune Glaive, so I'm sorry if I do that. Uh, I played a lot of AP champions when Rune Glaive was in the game, and I loved that item. That item was so good. That's when I was face rolling everyone with Diana. Felt super good. Um, so we got our item, right? We got a lot of damage now, and so we want to be using it. I'm going to get this red, and we want to try and find people and make plays around the map. want to do that in the beginning, but now that we're at our power spike right now, now that we're really strong... Uh, he should be fine here. He just ults out. Right. Boom. Oh, no! Where did he go? The smoke screen! Dang. All right. Squad's here, right? So, uh, I'm just going to flash out. Cocoon, get away. Put some damage down. And we're out. <laughs> I had to flash, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Oh no, he got Jensen. He was probably dead anyway. They're doing a really good job of playing around as a team, but hopefully Darius can get something going in the top lane. Ideally. And drop this here. Oh, there it is. Huh. I'm dead if he jumps on me, so I obviously have to leave. Obviously have to leave. There he is, okay. All right. I don't think we can actually hold this anyway. Uh, they're just going to jump on me. And I don't have the damage to deal with it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <sighs> right? So you can repel to avoid damage as well. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I can actually do anything here. I'm kind of trailing but I don't want to give him a kill. So, nice. Okay. I'm trailing, and if he jumps over, I can just use my... Um, I use my cocoon there to get out of that, but uh, there wasn't a whole lot I was going to be doing there. All right. And so you saw me there stall for time with Repel. That's another thing you can do, right? If you go in and, you know, maybe you kill someone, maybe you don't, maybe you just need a little bit more time... Um, you repel and that's you just stall. You repel and you stall, and you saw me stall there for uh, Echo's, you know, little shield thing to come down. I knew if they stayed to try and kill me, they get stunned. Uh, if they recognize what's going on, then they have to back off, and I'm alive anyway. So either way, either way, I was getting out of that due to my repel. So think of it as a gap closer and a defensive utility. See my guy Echo having some trouble. Oh no. Oh no. I didn't think that's what you wanted, buddy. <laughs> he tried. He tried. He tried. Alright. Um, I was thinking about going Mobies, but I think I just want to go Sork Shoes here for the extra uh, burst potential. Either one's going to be a fine pick. You can go either one. No big deal. Uh, if you feel like you're rolling and you want to get around the map faster, you know you have the right gold for it, then yeah, just do that. But the later this game goes and how squishy they're going to be, you know, Gragas is going Runic Echoes. Looks like he's building into another offensive item. These guys are building both Assassin. He's going to be a little bit squishy, although he has Hex Drinker now, so that's smart by him. Uh... I like getting Sword Shoes here and trying to snowball a little bit more. We're also going to go into Morel's. Similar reason, but also because... Um, oops, I meant to hit R. I don't know what I was hitting there. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, the flash, huh? We should just be doing this here now. Going to spider form because you get a little bit more move speed in spider form. No? Okay. We're coming here then. Alright. 
Boom. Hit him with that. I'm tanking here. And again, I can use Repel to get out of it, right? So, boom. Use Repel there, and hopefully, I'm good to go. Your Spiderlings will also tank tower shots too. So when I come down there, I'm not exactly in danger of dying. Um, no? We can start this. That's fine. <clears throat> Wish we had something a little bit better, but... Okay. I want to juggle aggro over to my little guys because they can tank shots as well, right? <laughs> all right, we get this here. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, Darius fighting Aatrox in the top. Looks like he's winning pretty decidedly. That's pretty good. I see Gragas down there. So this game's going well, except for the fact that I'm, like, full support right now. <laughs> of course I would like to have the kills. Of course I'd like to snowball a little bit more, but it is what it is. Uh, not going to worry too much about it. I mean, you take you take the win however you can get it, right? So get over here. Just want to pull this over here. It's a little trick you can do if you didn't know. Um, is If you think someone might invade this way and try and take your red, you can pull it into this little brush over here and kill it over here. Now, of course, they're going to see that it's still up. They'll see it on the minimap, and they'll be wondering, where is it? I don't see it. Sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> All right. How's our scaling this game? Ezreal scales really well. They've got decent scaling as well. Um, Echo's a good scaling champion. He's going for the one-shot dunk master, so this is going to be interesting. This will be real interesting. Boom. Oh, come on, dude. Uh-oh. Ooh, flash over this way to get out. Yikes. Sorry, Echo. I don't know if I bait him, baited him there or not. He probably should have just left, but one of us was dying, and it looked like it was going to be me. I got ignited, I got violated, and I got out of there. <laughs> All right, cool. We saw this guy up here. Not sure where he's at, but definitely want to be careful of that. Boom, right? Use our whole burst on the Aatrox and kill him before he can get his passive up. So you see that insane damage, right? Like, that's crazy. Elise's base damage is so good. But it's only going to get worse from here. <laughs> I mean, it'll get better, don't get me wrong, right? I'm going to build more AP a little bit more, and it's going to get good, and yada, 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 but... Uh, people are going to start building resists. And all this flat uh, magic pen that I have, it's going to start to fade off a little bit. So, all right, we're going to take this and look to take Herald, which is super strong in this current patch. So don't don't neglect to take Herald. If you have a choice, you should be taking it as often as you can. And you can take it as a solo. You don't need teammates to do it. Uh, you can take it on your own pretty good they did that on purpose and i appreciate riot doing that whoo the darius pop off baby let's go let's go whoo and then again of course elise is strong in that her spiderlings can tank right and so we do this pretty easily pretty easily nice suit nice suit boom okay i'm gonna go shove out top side because it needs to be and my team's doing things in other places so we don't you know as much as I would like to go help mid and gank and keep doing all that stuff right you got to make sure that you're also playing to win and a big part of winning the game is pressuring around the map pressuring objectives like that. that's what we got to do here oh no rip cannon okay uh, so mid still being pressured so I'm okay with this for now but as soon as like my bot lanes backing up now right so it's important that you pay attention to what your teammates are doing <laughs> As it's getting chased, and it looks like this is going to be a good reset for us. So that's what we do. We take the rift, and we get on out of here. We finish up this morels real nice-like. And now we're going to go. So this is a point in the game where Elise has some different decisions that she can make. You can go full tank at this point, right, because we're transitioning into the mid to late game where she starts to fall off. 
So then you can kind of be more of a CC bot tank, peel for your carries, kind of similar as like a Lee Sin, right? The longer the game goes on, the more and more Lee Sin turns less into like full AD damage, kill everybody, and more into a kick bot, peel for my carries, kind of keep them safe. Elise is similar, uh, but she also has the ability to go more AP if you want. I'm going to take that route. <laughs> so we're going to go right Lizely Andre. Um, and the reason you go that is because she has nice poke with her W. Does does a good bit of damage, right? It's doing, what, almost 300? Uh, Graves was just up here. If he face checks me or I see him, I can kill him. I can show them the but, okay. Yeah, our team is doing stuff in the bot lane right now. Or, I mean, bot jungle right now. Popping off right now. Let's go. So I'm going to go here. This might just be game because Darius is so strong. Whoa, look at that animation. <laughs> the Darius. Oh, he died. Dang, dude. The Darius pop off. Too real. But we're going to get some towers off of this for sure. Uh, if I cocoon him, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. He's walking up. Why are you walking up, sir? What's going on? All right, so we turn into our spider. We get that attack speed from our W, right? And then we just make sure it gets one more charge off. That's all. We're not going to end the game here, but we just ensure that uh, we get that last charge of Shelly off. We got an inhib that's really nice, especially going into this. <laughs> we want to give this over to Ezreal, so. Oh, I almost took it with my spiderlings. That would have been bad. Okay, we got a lot of vision down, which is real nice. Um, Vi's going to take away some of it. Boom, we put a ward up over there. <laughs> I can't really get into this. <laughs> I was I was hesitant about my repel because that's my only defensive move. So I was hesitant to try and get in there. That's all. Uh, boom, use the cocoon on Aatrox so he chills out a little bit. Right? Okay. Uh-oh, I got a flash out. Oh, I missed my cocoon, so I pretty much got to try and burst him out here. Dang, didn't get him. Good vibes. Didn't get him. Buku, what's good with the 100 bits? What's good, Buku? How you doing, man? How you doing, how you doing? These are some good vibes. These are some good vibes, for sure. I wonder, was I a shutdown? I did, okay, okay. Oh, there it is. There's the GG. So we have a game where we have to snowball and we have to win quickly, and we do it. Um, it's not necessarily about snowballing with Elise. That's not really the right right way to phrase it. But you need to have an early impact with Elise because that's where her power comes from. Level 3 ganks, roaming around the map, kind of doing some things like that. So uh, feels good. That was a good Elise game. I'm not sure that she's going to come back. Uh, those buffs were nice. You know, they've kept trying to buff AP junglers. They keep trying to move forward with this. Um, and those buffs felt good. But is it enough to bring her into this meta and replace the likes of a Xin Zhao, a Graves, a Warwick, a Kane in my place? Maybe not. But it might be where you can do um, this as your AP jungler, right? So you might be able to do this as an AP jungler. So... Uh, Pretty good. Uh, I think that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed this Elise game. As always, I'm Thump. Keep your head up. Peace.